The desire for quality genetics is a dream for every dairy farmer in Kenya who wants to progress. However, availability of quality animals for purchase is limiting due to the high demand of breeding animals. The few which are available are either of low quality or they are expensive. We are aware and we are that the availability of heifers currently is such that they are just not available. So the association is looking at embryo transfer as an alternative and system to have more and heifers available for farmers. Whereas breeding of own animal using artificial insemination is an option available to most farmers, the time taken is long and sometimes the results are not satisfactory as envisioned by the farmers tendering. We With AI, the process of genetic improvement is a staircase improvement from one year to the next, which in many cases takes you up to 15 good years in order to have very good quality animals. Embryo transfer technology currently being promoted under the auspice of East Africa Cement and Embryo Transfer Association ISETA is an answer to those farmers wishing to see fast genetic progress. the shortest way of getting quick breeding animals because if you see for example like the ones we have now mm -hmm. they're this one that I'm breeding the donors they have been selected for a period of over 10 15 years to get to that breeding system what I'm trying to do is copy that animal as it is as quickly as possible because one animal you cannot vary the gestation period the gestation period can be only nine months what you can with every transfer, you are able to use that animal to produce more than one calf. The embryo transfer technique is practiced in two versions. The conventional embryo transfer, also known as multiple ovulation embryo transfer, and the in vitro embryo transfer, also known as in vitro embryo production. Conventional embryo transfer involves the selection of super donor cows. These are then subjected to hormonal treatments which make them produce multiple ova in a process called super ovulation. These are served when the animals are on heat, but seven days later they are flushed to remove the embryos which have developed. After fertilization has occurred, then there is cell division of the fertilized uh, ovum. It starts dividing and first it will divide into two cells, four cells, eight cells, 16 cells, 32 cells and so on. By, by the time it has got uh, 64 to, one, to 128 embryos, it's already an early modular. This is around, this is around the day four after fertilization. And once the, and once the ova are fertilized, now they get into the uterus. Once they get into the uterus and they have developed into, into compacted modular or early blastocyst at day seven, that is when now we come to flush out the embryos. A set of recipients are selected and prepared hormonally to come on heat at the same time as the donor females in a process known as heat synchronization. This will then serve as surrogate mothers for the embryos removed from the donors carrying the pregnancy the normal nine months before birth. The process of placing the embryos on the recipient females is what constitutes the embryo transfer. So the idea is you want to, to, to have this many cows of this high producing as many as possible because you cannot vary the gestation period of this. You cannot increase it to two months yeah. or three months. It must be nine months. 
In addition to the conventional embryo transfer, the association will also encourage the use of oval pickup technique to enable the production of many embryos. In this technique, mature ova are picked directly from the ovaries using a suction pump and an ultrasound machine. The ova are then matured and fertilized in a lab before being matured to 7 days. The embryos so produced are then ready for transfer in the same way as those produced by the multiple ovulation embryo transfer technique. As it is right now, we are able, for example, to use Boran animals or even the short East African zebu as recipients for and the embryos which we could get from the special uh, European breed donors to kind of hold the embryos to town. That way then a low value genetic animal will have been used to enable the production of high value genetic animals. ISETA started in the month of August the year 2005 as an embryo transfer working group to address the ever-increasing demands for embryo transfer and see to the modalities of rolling out the embryo transfer. Mkwe ISETA ilianzishwa ili shuguli zake ziweze kufanyika katika nchi zote za Afrika Mashariki, ikiwemo Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda na Burundi. Kenya imechaguliwa kama ni tunasema ni ni, ni, ni center for excellence livestock center for excellence kwa hivyo maendeleo yaliyopatikana yote kwa upande wa, wa mifugo katika Kenya e, inge, ingepaswa yaene katika nchi za Afrika Mashariki e, yani technology transfer bila kupoteza muda the organizations which came together at the time were Land or Lakes, Worldwide Sires, Agricultural Development Corporation, Central Artificial Insemination Station, International Livestock Research Institute, University of Nairobi, Kenya Livestock Breeders Organization, and Kenya Agricultural Research Institute. The working group is what later evolved into the East Africa Cement and Embryo Transfer Association, ISETA, with the official registration taking place in May 2006. Eh, mwaka elfu mbili na kumina moja ndani ya mwezi wa nane wataalamu wa Iseta kutoka Kenya walikuja Tanzania wataalamu wa tatu na kwa bahati walikuja katika kipindi ambacho eh, kampuni ya ranchi za taifa ya Ninarko ilikuwa ina, inafanya semina kwa wadau wake tulikuwa fursa kuhudumia katika semina hii kukutana na wadau mbali mbali na katika semina hiyo eh, shughuli za Iseta na zilitangazwa na tukazungumzia umuhimu wa kuanzisha eh, embryo transfer katika Tanzania kwa kuanzia na wadau hao ambao walihudhuria katika katika mkutano huo The objectives of the associations are to one develop and promote artificial insemination and embryo transfer technologies in East Africa two enlighten members on artificial insemination and embryo transfer and other emerging breeding technologies three Assist in regulation of artificial insemination and embryo transfer practices in East Africa. 4. Promote research on artificial insemination and embryo transfer and other emerging breeding technologies. The association looks at embryo transfer as the finest alternative for farmers to get quality animal breeds within a shorter period of time as it provides the fastest way to increase the offsprings of genetically superior dams. You see, for example, this now mm -hmm. is carrying the, the heifer of that one. If you look at the size of this cow and this one, look at this cow. Because you can see there is no difference. Look at even the size of this. So actually you are talking about this cow will get a calf in 12 half years. In addition, embryo transfer enables export or import of superior genetics with ease as it is less bulky and has better disease control than live animals. Furthermore, embryo transfer also allows faster progeny testing of bulls since heifers need not to mature to allow embryo transfer procedures to be undertaken. This technology also allows the use of genetically inferior recipients to carry high value animals thus create a value for the otherwise inferior animals. 
they usually cost about 150 to 200,000 shillings. So the value of the polygonas is so high because the animal, when you breed it properly, uh, need calf heifer will uh -huh. cost like 200,000. But if you can see these ones, these ones now, these ones you can even buy with 20,000. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. to carry the pregnancy to town. Yes. And then finally, when you are through with all of them, you just sell them as caravan as a meat. ISETA has facilitated training and commercial sessions of embryo transfer to the level where the reasonable competence and capacity has been built to handle a full commercial rollout of embryo transfer. As an association, we do recommend that we work with, we are better off working with large organizations or farmer groups or cooperatives for that particular matter because of the volumes of animals which are involved. But yes, we are flexible enough to take on uh, farmers who would like to us to undertake uh, the same work for them as individuals. Over time, ISETA has developed different services to satisfy the ever-growing demand for embryo transfer services by farmers. These services include importation and transfer of embryos for hay farm multiplication. This will facilitate a faster production of dairy animals. The association assists to import embryos for transfer. The embryos are then sold to farmers who will then be assisted to transfer to available surrogates. The association also does commercial embryo transfer by providing the services on demand, which includes availing imported embryos. The association will endeavor to assist farmers who require services for embryo transfer. These services may be from just collection of embryos, collection and transfer of imported or locally produced embryos. ISETA is already working with both breeders and ordinary farmers with quality animals to produce heifers using sexed semen. This will then be availed to farmers in need of dairy animals as a way to complement the embryo transfer process. The sex semen, when it's produced from a bull, mm -hmm. then somebody has to determine that the, that is going to be a heifer and not Yes, if, if you can also you can also do it the other way on the convectional semen, in which case you get hybrid. Yes. The association plans to work with the national stud books, breed societies and other relevant organizations to improve the registration of dairy animals. A tracking system for registered animals is planned by the association so that valuable animals are recorded and made available to all for the regional good. In order to achieve these goals, ISETA as of now has received financial support by World Bank through the East Africa Agricultural and Productivity Project, USAID through Land or Lakes and member institutions. In the provision of services to the farmers, the association provides tailor-made solutions to meet the farmers' need. The most elaborate cases are farmers requiring both flushing and transfers to be conducted on their farms. The first step in getting embryo transfer is first of all to have a discussion with one of our technical officers to first of all clarify any items and any situations which the farmer may have. From there then and we do expect that uh, the farmer will be visited for purposes of inspecting the premises and whatever facilities he has and also the animals whether they are suitable. Uh, at that stage, if it is reasonable or everything is okay, then a contract will be entered between the farmer and a certain association. Other farmers require harvesting of the embryo for onward sales, whereas others wish to bring in new genetics to their farms by importing embryos and have them transferred in their farms. The availability of the services is now a reality and the association is now signing contracts with farmers to avail the services. The contract has got to be domesticated to the needs of the farmer. The numbers and the types of embryo transfer are methods which you would like to choose. For example, the farmer may choose to have both donors and recipients in his farm, he may just choose to have donors alone. Alternatively, he could also choose to have uh, to import embryos abroad. 
Iseta realizes that production of embryos is one of the most lucrative part of farming in that the farmers get to sell good animal genetics without the actual sale of the animals. In other countries, farms specializing in embryo transfer production have developed, thus the association will wish to be in the forefront in making this dream a reality to the Kenyan farmer. However, the transition to commercial embryo transfer among farmers will not be an overnight affair. Embryo transfer can be an agonizing process if poorly undertaken. It is for this reason that the association is leaving no stone unturned to make sure rollout among farmers is with reasonable success, making the process to be worthwhile. The association requires that a minimum number of five transfers be undertaken, whereas for flushing a minimum of three animals is recommended. It is important to note that success following transfer is about 50%, a rate lower than artificial insemination which stands on an average of about 75%. We, the association, do recommend a package of three flashings or from three donor animals and five transfers. Of course, the more recipients the farmer can get hold of, the better. In fact, we do encourage that if you are short of animals, we talk with your neighbors to have uh, even more um, recipients for that particular package of three flashes and five transfers is valued at 160,000 or up to 200,000 depending on the locations and any other unique situations um, which can be the initial the farms we are trying to handle. In conclusion, the association is in a unique position to offer embryo transfer as a way to fast track the production of high quality heifers. However, this reality to produce quality animals will not be feasible unless all stakeholders join hands and take the bold steps to make the practice of the technology an everyday reality. We believe that the glass ceiling that is preventing the exponential growth for embryo transfer is in the verge of being broken. We would wish you to be a party to the new and exciting chapter in dairy farm that this technology will usher. We therefore urge you to join the association today and be part of the success story. Oh